السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آج میں الیونتھ انگلش کا تیسرا ٹاپک ڈلیور کرنے جا رہی ہوں آئی ہیو آلریڈی فنش ٹو ٹاپک بفور دا کلوجر آف اسکولس تیسرا ٹاپک میں آج ڈلیور کرنے جا رہی ہوں سو دیٹ یو پیپل کین گیٹ سم تھنگ فرام دس لیکچر دا ڈیفوڈیلس بائی ولیم ورڈس ورڈ ڈیفوڈیلس ڈیفوڈیل از اے ٹرمپ شیپڈ گولڈن کلر فلاور دیٹ grows in spring time by William Wordsworth who was born on 1770 and died on 1850 also called the founder of English Romanticism William Wordsworth penned down this poem this poem is a lyric and William Wordsworth's best known work The poet was inspired by an event on 15th April in which he was along with his sister Dorothy when they came in contact with a large number of daffodils that strike us that scene strikes his mind uh, stresses him thrusts him to write about that natural beauty he is also called the poet of na- natural poet who changed the poetry from simple to modern he changed the total taste of poetry from simple to the romantic poetry and considered one of the best nature poet this poem the theme of this poem is that nature's beauty with a mixture of happiness and loneliness the author the well, well known nature poet shown to be lonely but when he thinks back to that beautiful sight of natural beautiful daffodils he is happy and content content this poem is divided into four stanzas the first stanza let me explain you first let me try to explain you simple words so that you people can easily understand i wander lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills when all at once i saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the free breeze پوائٹ نے اس میں کئی سارے اس میں دو تین پوائٹری ٹیکنکس استعمال کیے گئے ہیں میٹافر استعمال کیا گیا ہے رائم سکیم استعمال کی گئی ہے اس میں پرسونفیکیشن بھی استعمال کیا گیا ہے تو ہم اسٹنزا وائٹ ایکسپلین کیے جائیں گے یہاں پر دا پوائٹ سیز دیٹ ہی واز آل ون ڈے ہی واز ونڈرنگ he was wandering here and there he was going from one place to another place main ja raha tha yahan se wahan akele tanha us badal ki tarah to aise hi ghoomte ghoomte mere wo badal jo kabhi wadiyon mein kabhi pahadon par jiski koi without proper destination where to go where to stay where to take rest just like that cloud to aise hi ghoomte ghoomte main ek din wandering um, i see he, he was like a lonely cloud floating high in sky waves and hills all achanak se all of sudden i saw he says that he saw a large number of yellow colored daffodils a large number of the flowers were growing in a great quantity in a great profusion on the banks of lake under the shade of trees that these beautiful flowers were dancing they were moving they were enjoying that moment with the cool breeze the breeze was uh, there was uh, also a breeze a beautiful breeze a uh, breeze which uh, comforts one's mind one's heart it seems as if they were dancing with joy aisa lag raha tha ki wo phool bhi us khushgawar khushgo us hawa ke saath ghoom rahe the naach rahe the enjoy kiye ja rahe the 
continues as stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, the structure in never ending line along the marginal bay. 10,000 sight girls tossing their heads in sprightly dance. I see, I see, were growing, they were growing in a large number, and also they were shining like the stars that shine on the Milky Way, which twinkle in one continuous form. They extended along the bank of lake on either side of the mm, great distance. In a single look, I saw a large number of them throwing their heads as though busily engaged in a joyful uh, dance. Here, for point, ne point, ne point, a poetry technique is used to be personification. Here, the poet used personification. He compared the flowers, the dancing of flowers with the dancers, with the dancers, just like dancers, they were dancing without bothering, without considering what is happening. They were enjoying that moment. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves. The poet could not be but K in such a jacquard company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. Wo lehre jo us nadi mein uthi ja rahi thi, wo leheron ko bhi tarak kiye ja rahe the. They ignored the waves. They ignored. They surpassed the waves. They don't consider. They they neglecting them. They were only interested in themselves. They were happy. They were enjoying that moment. The poet says that the daffodils grew like stars. They shine in the Milky Way. They extended in a long ending, never ending line. The waves of the lake near them also danced, but the daffodils surpassed the waves in the expression of their joy. And the poet who watched them dancer in their happy mood could not have helped feeling happy in their happy company. I look at him. The, he says that he looked at them for a considerable time. He looked again and again. At the beautiful flowers, keenly observing their happiness, observing their activities. At that time, he says that he didn't realize what kind of wealth he is storing for himself. He, what store of he he didn't realize he was storing a great wealth, not in the form of material, but in the form of emotional wealth. He felt as if he had been in a jolly company of friends. He looked, he forgot his worries, he forgot all his troubles. He only enjoyed, he wanted to enjoy just like the flowers. He looked again at the daffodils. He didn't feel at that time the scene of daffodils had brought him an immense wealth of joy, not in the form of material, not in the form of goods, but the wealth of, uh, 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 wealth of joy, the wealth of happiness. For often when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is a bliss of solitude, and then my heart fills with pleasure and dance with the daffodils. After that, the poet says that whenever he lies on his bed, in a sad or in a thoughtful mood, the memory of that daffodils, the memory of those beautiful daffodils, which said those daffodils they surpassed the waves they ignored everything while they were enjoying their life that moment shines before his mind and fills his heart with gratitude fills his heart with pleasure fills his heart with happiness he says that when वो यहाँ पर कह रहा है कि वो लम्हा देखकर मेरे अंदर के मैं बहुत ही खुश हो जाता है मैंने सब कुछ बुला दिया कि मेरी जिंदगी में कितनी उदास है कितनी परेशानी है मेरा दिल सब कुछ भूल जाता है जब उन डफडल्स की उन लहरों को उन फूलों को मैं याद करता हूँ कभी भी जब मैं तन्हा होता हूँ उदास होता हूँ अपने कमरे में बैठे उन तो मेरे अचानक से वो स्ट्राइक हो जाता है मेरे माइंड में वो सीनरी ऑफ डेफोडल्स वो हैप्पीनेस ऑफ डेफोडल्स तो मैं सारे एवरी थिंग मैनेजर फ्रॉम माई माइंड I remember only one thing, the happiness of those, the dance of those beautiful daffodils and feels very much excited. He begins to feel as if his heart was dancing with the daffodils. In short, the sight of those beautiful daffodils has become, has provided the great solace, the great source of delight to the poet, to the poet, to the words worth. That's all.